Hello and it's the Warp Forge with an Idic Beer 2016 painting challenge update. So this is the second one this year. <laughs> As you can see I was started doing my war boss because it was late at night. I went to er bed earlier than I expected and woke up half two in the morning and couldn't get back to sleep so I thought, ah oh, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna paint. So I started doing Zor. As we can see, uh, this isn't the final thing, this is a total work in progress. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, work in progress. So, as you can see, very heavy in washes and stuff. This is the starting canvas of how I want it to look. I'm going to be dry brushing like hell with tin bits again, or as it's known by Vigelu, tinny tin. Rin tin, tinny tin, 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 rin tin, tinny tin. Lifesaver for orc stuff, especially with the uh, wash that I've used, which was the technical Nihilaka Oxide from Citadel. That one. I can't pronounce it, I assume it's something Necron esque. But uh, basically, I don't really use that too often because I find it a bit too thick, as you can see from there. But I tried it on my decimate and then I dry brushed Tinny Tin again over the wash as I found it was a bit too heavy. And it looks really nice. So I'm going to try that again from your war boss Zor. Because what I usually do is I literally get the electric blue from Game Color here. I turn that into a wash. I literally put so much water in that it becomes a wash. It, the pigment's that thin. It becomes a wash. And then just go over it and then it's the job done. But I decided experiment a bit more with the Nihilililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililil
I reckon I can get it done for wargaming purposes. Uh, then with like stuff that's sticking out like this bit here with the on his leg, little uh, groin kicker thing. Then uh, I think just some steel. Then kick it with sepia. Some iconography elements, uh, decoration and stuff. Again for clan purposes, red for goth. In addition to purple, maybe on the edges of the legs here and stuff, just to make it pop out, so that it doesn't look like the arms are the main focus of the miniature. In terms of the base, I'm going to try and find some decorative base. I have no idea what I want. I'm probably going to look for something industrial. Not as like a mix workshop, but like a Space Hulk-esque thing, because I just think that would look awesome. Especially for this uh, war boss. Just going around with his big shooter, just shooting up targets in a Space Hulk. You know, probably Gene Steelers. And God knows what else. I think Renegades and Heretics on a Space Hulk. Going in with that. That, that would look cool. Maybe even some Hive Tyrant or Trigon. Recreate the scene from Aliens with an Orc Contemptor. <laughs> Get away from it, you, you Zog! Something like that. But yeah. So this is just a work in progress. I'm going to continue on Mega Knobs in a bit. Just, I'm going to focus on this guy first. Get him out the way with. Wait for the base to come. While I'm waiting for the base to come, get the Mega Knobs done. And uh, we'll see how that fares. So... Hope you enjoyed this uh, IDICB's 2016 Paint and Challenge update. If you want to see more Paint and Challenge updates, please subscribe. If you liked what you see here, please give it a like. Share this video around, please, just so that lots of people can see it. A lot of people seem to like me conversions, especially on this war boss. So, hopefully more interesting and fun stuff to come, people. This is... The war oh, before I forget, as a proud me member of the Legion of Gamza, Please check out their Facebook page, it'll be in the description below. This is the Whoop Forge, signing out, and remember, keep on forging.